I'm here at Offshore Europe 2015 with Frano Mika, who's the System Health Manager for SIPEM. Frano, uh, thank you very much for joining me here at Offshore Europe here this welcome. morning. Um, why do you think we, we hear less about the H with regards to health and the health and safety environment? Well, unfortunately, you are right. Uh, age is a little bit smaller in AJC than it should be. Why it is? There are a number of reasons. Number one, because most of the people think that health is something that is given for granted. Then somebody, some people understand that age is just about statistics and injuries and accidents, completely neglecting uh, non-communicable diseases, infectious diseases, well-being, wellness of our employees, working environment, occupational health, and so on and so forth. Then many people think that uh, it is, it is um, countries responsibility, national health system, to take care about the health of their uh, own uh, citizens. But then at the end, often the health effects of ill working environment will see in a number of years after a person has been exposed to an event or to a number of events, which makes it a little bit different to trace really what had happened to deter deteriorate employees' health. And then, of course, uh, you cannot avoid health issues. Almost all incidents are preventable, as we want to see, say that all, incident, all incidents are preventable. But for health, we can't say like that, because you never know when an acute event will happen with the um, health of uh, a person. You cannot avoid appendicitis. You cannot avoid health, uh, heart attacks. You cannot avoid cancers. But what you can do is to minimise the possibility that this happens. Do you think the oil and gas industry as a whole Frano, is, is, is proactive in safeguarding the health of its employees? Well, as long as we have uh, occupational diseases in our industry, as long as we have uh, the absence uh, due to sickness, as, we have, as long as we have medical emergencies due to sick events, health events, we are not doing enough. Mm, no matter, I would say that industry is doing a lot. It's doing a lot in prevention, it's doing a lot in awareness, it's uh, doing a lot in assessment of employees' health. It's doing a lot, most importantly, in prevention, because the prevention of ill health is the key. And we are doing a lot in diminishing the possibilities that an acute event occurs. But as I said at the beginning, well, you never know, because Nobody is born with ISO 9001 certificate, so uh, we don't know what is inside our body, and each person is reacting differently to uh, external agents. So what measures can the, the industry put in place further that can help the, the health of their employees? Well, definitely, the industry is already offering a, um, periodical medical examinations to check not only the effects of uh, working environment, but general health. It's offering a number of uh, well, wellness programs. It's offering a number of uh, education and information courses. So to make people aware that the health is the only one they have, and it's great their responsibility to keep it as it is. The company is here to support. The company is here to give the tools. The company is here to encourage people to take care about their health for the way their own well-being for the well-being of the company, of their families and the overall community. And just finally, Frano, what, what outcomes do you hope for at the keynote session on health, which you're chairing this afternoon? Well, the message is that uh, myself and all keynote speakers want to give is that health matters. While safety is an obligation, a health is a choice. A choice that has to be made by the, an individual, but above all, it has to be made by the company, because health is a business issue. And our managers need to put their face in front for the health. Because each dollar, euro or pound invested in employees' health brings an, uh, an added value of 3.8 times. Now tell me which is the bank that gives you a 380% of interest. So health is not a cost. Health is an investment for the future.